It's KEXP 90.3 FM here in Seattle, worldwide at KEXP.org. I'm John Richards. This is The Morning Show, and a band that's gotten a lot of airplay on the show over the years. I am very excited to welcome Belly to KEXP. Hi. Hello. It's all yours. <laughs> Makes me 
Live here on KEXP. Yeah, yes. Man, I've been waiting uh, many years to tell you this. You look too young. Well, uh, you're gonna. Well, this is my well, first. Tell us all okay, so it. my first breakup is pretty pretty dramatic. Oh. You know how it goes. Yeah. A and I know. Do I? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, this record came out. And it was my breakup record. So I've been waiting a few years. Oh God. I'm I know. So sorry. I know. So I just went back to a terrible place. Thank you so oh, much. No, yeah. no, I'm kidding. Well, I'm it's, glad that we could take you there. No, nah, it was a breakup that caused me to move here. So, okay, so so thank you. Yes. I wouldn't be here without Belly. The end. That's yep. all I wanted. Everything to say. unfolded as it should. And I've been waiting years and years. But thank you for that tremendous record that you just played a song from. Uh, it is so good to have you back. I was so excited when we got the new album. I've uh, been a fan for years, and the new album's just great. Thank it's you, a, a Human Child. Uh, the one you're about to play in, in a few here when we shut up is another great one. <laughs> and uh, you're touring on it. And how was the show last night? It was great. It was really, really good. That, that good. Neptune audience was so super yeah. fun. They were, they? were really Amazing. great. Yeah. We really, really didn't know what to expect. You know, at the end, it was our last show of the West Coast tour. Yeah. And we were a little tired, but they absolutely energized us, and yep. they were hilarious love and fest. engaged. It's a love yeah. fest. Yeah, it's end great. of the tour, uh, uh, of the West Coast tour, a Sunday night, and yeah. so you <laughs> never know what you're walking into, right? Yeah, going up against <laughs> the last two nights of, you know, two great Pearl Jam shows, and then, you know. Maybe it was fun. maybe you were just the cap on a great week. Yeah. Oh, I like the way you think. There you go. Nice. I think you we were. We were riding a wave. We I, were. Yeah. I, I have a lot of tired listeners who were there last night. So. Wait, is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah, they were right this morning. And if you had Good pictures morning, listeners. that you talked to fans, they were sending pictures afterwards, yeah. said you were all so nice and uh, oh, it just that's nice. made their evening. That must be, it must be yeah. good to they see people cool. who have been fans cool. for years too, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and they're adult children. And they're, and they're adult children. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk yeah. a little bit? I'm sure you have, but I'd love to hear a little bit about um, the band getting back together. Like what was the, were there songs made and you wanted to bring the band or was it get the band back together and make some songs? How did it go? Uh, the, uh, the, initially it was a reunion tour was the idea. Mm -hmm. And then um, once we started getting that together, we started writing again and actually Tom and I and Gail and I separately had been writing together over the years anyway um but this we decided to just have a put together a few new songs just to kind of pull it away from a nostalgia project you know and make it more relevant to us primarily but then um just to add some energy to it um and from we had like four or five songs and from that point after the first t tour reunion tour in 2016 we that sort of extent, we decided to extend it and turn it into into an album. We just kept writing, so. That's great. Yeah. And yeah. when you go back and play a song like Geppetto, do you do you learn something from, I don't want to say in your, in your older age, but mm -hmm. as, as years have passed. I'm, I'm at peace. Do you go, me too. <laughs> do you go back, do, the, do you learn something about those songs? Do you, is it? Is it yeah, well, I. You forget I mean, more I than you learn. Speak. Yeah, I, do, yeah, you forget the so more. So you play it a hey. whole new way, but it's yeah. like, hey, not it's the way. A, yeah, you every night's a new it. night. <laughs> I feel like lyrically, and this is all, you know, um, I sometimes, when we're playing, I'm like, oh, now I get what that means. Oh, you that. actually get the... That's what uh, I mean. The meaning has come to you over the years. Yes. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. All, that yeah, all, that, all the word salad. It took decades to figure out what your songs were about. into meaning. Maybe just convincing yourself. Well, <laughs> well, like myself, you take a song. I'm sure you've had this I'm from... I'm trying to John. <laughs> I'm sure you've had fans say that, though. They they take your songs and apply it to their own lives. Have there been... <laughs> That's exactly what should happen. Is that what should happen? Absolutely. Do you have those records? Yeah. Do you have certain albums you've you've listened to in the past that you've kind of owned and, and felt like, maybe that wasn't the intention of, of those songs or records? Do you have like a favorite Other artists, artist? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> All of them, yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, also, Tanya... Um, I remember when when you there was a time you weren't making music and and hearing you were you were a doula or you mm -hmm. were or you were training to be a doula or, or you are yeah, yeah, yeah. a postpartum a postpartum doula, doula yeah Do you but I was I've been I mean the making music through through, through that the interim as well we all have kind of so um, yeah the, the doula work was something that 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 you know blends nicely with the music schedule so yeah. yeah. And you're on call, though. That's the only, right? I'm not for, cause I don't do birth work because, um, for that reason, because oh, I can't I really put, hit pause on my kids. Right. Um, so I do postpartum, which is more schedulable. So. Right, right. And I, it's also, I think I'm, I think it's a better fit for me. I'm, I'm better at that anyway, so. Well, Dula's do incredible work. The, yeah. The postpartum. I love it. must be really uh, gratifying to yeah. help, help women through. Yeah. Thought first. Um, yeah. And your own kids? So yeah. you have... 19 and 12. Two 19, girls, 12. Gracie and Hattie. And Chris has two, Indy and Toll. How, how does this work with the touring? Do they Are they able to go at all with you in the summer? Or are they are they, they see the, their parents play? Yeah, they'll come to the East Coast shows. As yeah? As they can squeeze in, yeah. That's good. What That's are awesome. they... What, what are their out. thoughts of a 19-year-old? I'm curious. Like, is it cool? Oh, she's great. She's, yeah, she li she genuinely likes, <laughs> likes the music, and she's, in t yeah, she's into it. She likes it. That's cool. Um, and then Chris and I are, are, my youngest daughter and his oldest are, are merch. They're bros. They're yeah. merch bros. Yeah. They're merch bros. <laughs> Young bros. entrepreneurs. They are. Do they get they a cut? They work the table. They make soaps. <laughs> they do. They make it. Indy's like a, a pro soap maker. So I come to the Boston show, you will and get my Nelly Hattie's soap. good at, at, at uh, sales salesmanship. Yes, <laughs> she is. She's a marketing. I magician. haven't seen the soap at a merch table, so I think that's pretty Isn't exciting. That it's something. only when yeah. the kids can be there, so you got yeah, yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, we're not making soap. <laughs> we're not making soap. <laughs> Belly's live here at KEXP. So you finish a West Coast tour. What's next for the band? Next East show's Coast. in Portland, Maine, mm -hmm. on the twenty second, and then Boston twenty three, Brooklyn twenty five and twenty six. So busy through the summer? Yeah, and then Midwest, Some little time States, off and then right. DC, and then DC Philly. and Philly at the end of September. I Chicago, think Minneapolis, October, Madison right? in October. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes. In the first week, yeah. So very busy. And touring must be very yeah. different now than it, than it was hard. in the early days. <laughs> Is it harder? Well, did you see the Dodge Caravan I, out I didn't. <laughs> And Tanya is not only our tour manager; she's also our driver. And we all multitask. It's completely DIY. So we're, I just sit there and complain. It's gratifying. <laughs> There's a lot of complaining. Well, is I that can't. a task? <laughs> Someone has to. That's yeah. That, that's a skill. 
It's, it keeps you awake when you're driving when someone's complaining. Yes. You know that much. Uh, Belly's live here at KXP. I highly recommend seeing him live if you get a chance. And uh, I got a couple more songs for us if you're ready. Yeah. All righty.
Belly, live here on the morning show from the, the King album that was super connected. And I'd just like to say, uh, I've just been waiting all these years to thank you because I went through the second breakup in the King. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, what does that mean about the new record? I'm sorry, on this third one now. So it's just so sad. I don't, every time you put out a record, it was like <laughs> that, my whole life mean? fell apart. Is that the harbinger? <laughs> Okay, but oh. now you have to give me the silver lining of the second break. Where's the silver lining? You I don't remember that one, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> but the dub <laughs> album's out, and I'm happily married with two children, and yeah. everything's good. Not for long, oh. apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we have a Dodge, Dodge uh, minivan outside. We can drive them to soccer if they need it. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, belly helping everybody out, especially me. Uh, yeah. They played last night uh, at the Neptune. Again, East Coast Dates. Uh, look on a real-time playlist. We'll send some links to that, of course. 
And uh, congratulations on the new record. I Thank love it. You. So Thank good. You. And Shiny One is one of my favorite sweet. songs. <gasps> Thanks. So good. So good. Yeah. So Thanks much. for playing it on the station, too. Really, we really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Not hard to when you make those good of songs, I'm oh. telling you. Thank uh, you. And Belly... Belly uh, a big thank you to them for coming in, and a big thank you to our staff for, of course, yes. uh, amazing people work here. Uh, Look at them all. They're, they're, they wear d black clothing in the middle of the room. They, they're like yeah. ghosts. They're stealth. It's a plan. Ninjas. So Matrix. <laughs> Look at that. The rest of our team as well that you can't see, uh, and our donors who we see all the time, including right behind you in yeah. those windows. So, in the uh, execution big, gallery. Yeah, back there in the Do the they side. know that they have a button they can push to give each one of them a shock? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> they don't. No, they don't. Oh. Chris just got that, that it in his, in his butt. Pocket, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get out of this now. This is uh, Ben Belly here at 90.3 KEXV, Seattle. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Hey. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.